What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have a brand new product review and this is one of the more unique boxes we've opened on the channel here. In front of me, I have two lucky envelope boxes of 2021 Penny Prism Basketball. Now, this is a format I've never done here before, but I have done the, on the Breaks channel and they come with just two cards. So these are uh, really, really risky. And if you've seen the white sparkle pack opening we did, those might've been the riskiest packs ever. However, shortly after we have something that might go toe to toe with that one if not, you know, beat it out. So question for you guys, do you think this is riskier or the white sparkle packs? And I'll get in some information on this product now. And as always, if you guys like these, you know, really a uh, unique kind of obscure openings and um, more risky ones and fun rips like this one, I uh, definitely drop a like on the video, subscribe, share and comment. We can definitely do some more. And uh, yeah, I didn't know if I'd ever try one of these, but they're here now. We're going to try them. I did promise that I would try my best to do all the prism formats. So here we go again, prism, me and prism, not friends. I like prism. Prism doesn't like me, but hopefully, uh, we can mend fences right now and pull some sweet cards. But here's the details on this uh, on this pack here. So you get just two cards. Both cards are numbered to eight. Now, with each lucky envelope format, there's Chronicles, there's Select, there is uh, Optic, Obsidian, Illusions. Uh, not every product has them, but a lot of them do. And these are exclusive to the T-Mall platform, sold on the T-Mall platform in Asia. Each one will have a card number to eight usually. And the pattern can differ. So we've seen the Hyper pattern. We've seen uh, this one will have the Checkerboard pattern. And I've seen um, a bunch of different ones, kind of like that kind of square box format. I don't know how to describe it, but a bunch of different uh, kind of designs, patterns, and parallels to use. Number all of them to eight. Chronicles, for example, is a rookie heavy set. So you're going to have a high chance at a rookie. Prism is not a rookie heavy set. So we have a chance at Cody Zeller and Malik Beasley, who I'm predicting in between these two boxes. And um, yeah, so just two cards, numbers to eight. Base, Prism's lucky envelope. And there's the back. That's it. 300 card set, 50 rookies. Both cards will be number two, eight. So these boxes run about 400 and I'd say a minimum $450 at the bare minimum, as high as maybe 700 plus. It really just varies. And um, obviously each card number to eight, this 300 card, I think it is, if I did the math right, I didn't do it, I saw it on the forum somewhere, but it might be like 1200 boxes, something like that. So not too many of them made compared to other products. And yeah, it's a, it's a, this is a risk it for the biscuit rip right here. So Pac-Man cards of the IG, that's actually where I uh, bought these. So um, yeah, buy, sell there. And, Post uh, exclusive info early news on Pac-Man cards right there. So drop a follow if you haven't. Eight in the background. Great young player. Played very well. And uh, congrats to the Suns on that first dub. So let's open this box. See what we get. Once again, let me know down below what you think the riskiest packs this year are. Is it the sparkles? Is it these envelopes? Is it something else? Yeah, so here we go. It's, um, it's not too likely we get a rookie. We have four cards. One in every six cards is a rookie. I mean, and knowing our luck, we just don't get rookies. So uh, it's not looking too hot for us. I hope we can get a rookie, but, or a really good vet. Now with these, oh, that's a cool, there's a pack, empty box. With these, even the vets will be pretty good. Like I saw Curry, Shaq, uh, I think Dennis Rodman. Anyone who's good goes for a decent amount because once again, these are very short printed cards. So here's our first pack here, Panini Prism. Let's see what we can get. And um, yeah, if you get these for yourself, let me know what you get. Let me know what your thoughts on this product are in general. And once again, this is technically, I guess, a Tmall product. Tmall are all those products sold on the Tmall platform in Asia. So let's see what our first card is. Christian Wood. There's our empty pack. Oh boy. Please, rookie. Please, if we can get one good card today, that would just mean a lot. Far from a guarantee, but yes, a lot of you guys might be familiar with those Tmall products like Tmall Mosaic, Tmall... Uh, new, new team all prism came out team all select stuff like that um not a rookie and yeah so this would be kind of a another one of those team all ones los angeles lakers it'd be cool if we get a anthony davis a shack magic anthony davis i will take an anthony davis i will take that all right so let's see what the numbers are. that's three that'd be sweet ah oh, one okay one second one's the next uh, best one the first one made and also one someone told me they saw lebron and lamello in one box together but yeah there you go so both cards number to eight if you opened a box of prison before you know how impossible it is to get a card number to 25 let alone one to eight so this product is extremely risky but has a very high ceiling one of the highest ceilings of anything you can open cards to eight are very very rare and very highly coveted so quickly top load these guys here so this is one of Many T-Mall products they put out. 
And they always make their way to the U.S. market. After who knows how long, but there you go. There you go. All right. Next one up. So one one pretty solid card. I don't know how much AD will go for, but I saw once again Curry, Shaq, and Robin were some of the better plays I saw listed, and those went for a pretty good amount. Uh, I saw Wiseman go for I think like seventeen hundred. I think. And um, yeah, so not too many of these have been listed yet. Now, T Mall, the regular T Malls, not these ones, those are more similar to a retail product. And this, I would consider its just own thing. There's nothing really like this before. But if I open a box of T Mall, I'm thinking, reminds me of like a box I'd find at Target. These, as I said, there's, there's just nothing like these boxes. Two cards numbered to eight. Um, it's as risky as it gets. All right, so let's see our last two cards here. Really hoping we can get a rookie, but that Anthony Davis definitely lifted uh, some weight off my chest. I'll say that much. But we still have one more, and let's see how these um, how these end up being. All right, so first card we will show in three, two, one. Isaac Okora, let's go. Okay, 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 rookie. Oh, I, that means so much to me. Oh, let's go. <laughs> a rookie. You guys might be. Uh, you might want to check right now. Are we still on? Are you still watching a Pac-Man video? Because we just got a rookie. Oh, that's nice, Isaac Okoro. One of those like 20 guys, 15, 20 guys in this class who showed flashes. And I say this all the time, but I'm really interested to see, do they make that leap next year or do they fall off next year? But I, I'm willing to bet at least a couple of those guys at the minimum end up being good. So we'll see what he does. All right. Not a rookie. You gotta be very careful with that card here. And team is Clippers. I'll take a Kawhi or a Paul George. And he, he's Paul George right now. It is. Marcus Morris Sr. All right. And now one thing to look out for on your cards. And you might see it on that left card right here. I'm looking to see if I see it here. I don't believe I saw it in the first two. All right. So notice how there's a, a line there. That's a print line. That's not the best thing to see. They happen with when you have these kind of patterns. This Okoro, I don't believe has one. I really hope I'm not missing it. And I don't believe I saw it in the other two. But that is one unfortunate part about these patterns is and these Chrome cards. You will have those print lines. But Okoro... Thank you. I like that a lot. And overall, honestly, I, I'm that went like 50 times better than I I imagined. I imagined um once again Cody Zeller, Malik Beasley, Bismack Biombo, and um I don't know, Gorgie Jang. That's what I thought was gonna happen. And uh, it, it did not did not happen. So I will definitely take it. Let's uh, do a real quick recap of what we have here and these cards. There we go. So here's what we got. And then I'll kind of just show this quick recap and my final thoughts and reviews on uh, rating on this product. It's a risky, risky one. I mean, um, I don't know if you can see, but I'm literally like, I'm literally <laughs> sweating. This thing was crazy. Uh, Christian Wood is our first one. One of eight. I didn't check the number on the back too. My bad. Let's check it right now. Anthony Davis was also one of eight. Uh, Marcus Morris Sr. is seven of eight. Maybe I did check the number. I don't know. But all right, let's see. This one is... Eight of eight. All right, last one. Hey, that's eight, right? Yeah, eight of eight. All right, so here's a few things I'll say about this product now. Overall, our boxes, I'd say solid. I'll definitely take it. I can't complain, especially considering how atrocious some of our early boxes were. It, it's depressing if you watch some of those early ones. We got some decent cards, but considering how much we spent, we were uh, sorely lacking like one, like a monster pull. But uh, here's a few things I think. Number one is I don't like the construction of these boxes. This pack having just two cards getting thrown around that box is going to lead to some corner damage. As you can see, um, there's a little bit of white showing through in some, some of those corners, just a little bit. And that's, you know, the box shaking around isn't helping those those corners in the condition. Um, it's incredibly risky, but I do factor the ceiling highly into these kind of uh, ratings. And this has a high ceiling, low floor, but high ceiling. So overall, I think I would have to give this, and once again, I can't really put a pinpoint a price, so that's kind of tough. Once again, I'd say minimum 450, as much, as much as 700 plus. I just don't know, and it just really varies. But I'd say this is about um, a 6.25 out of 10, and what carries that so heavily is these are number to eight, and they, uh, what's it called? They are number to eight, and I, I had something else I was going to say. Oh, the ceiling's so high, right? Uh, being that case. But wow. Uh, I don't see any print lines on the AD or this one, but yeah, it's a lot of fun to open these. 
but really, really risky. So if you guys open these for yourself, I wish you guys the best of luck. Let me know if you're going to get one. Let me know what you think about this. Is this riskier than the, uh, uh, the white sparkle packs? Do you think so? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not too sure, honestly, what I think. It's close, but let me know what you think is the riskiest packs that I've dropped yet. Overall, I would say it's, um, I'm happy with it. I can't complain, and uh, I'll definitely take it. So close off on these two, and that does it, guys. I have a lot more stuff coming. Stay tuned for Prism Team All, which will be the uh, ones that we've seen a lot with, like, Mosaic and Select and Optics. So stay tuned for those. Uh, Prism Team All, as well as a few other Prism formats still coming out. Yes, we are still getting Prism <laughs> formats at this time of year. But a lot of fun stuff. I appreciate you guys, as always. Once again, if you like these videos, drop a like, comment, share, sub, and we can definitely do some more. Um, a lot of fun stuff coming. So, yeah, stay tuned. And that does it, guys. Wish you guys the best of luck. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.